Hey friends, Kathy here at 1757 Golf Club in Dulles, Virginia. Let's talk about why this sweet spot is so important to strike on your putter. Okay, so we all know that the best place to strike the ball on your putter is the sweet spot itself, right? But have you ever wondered why, even if you're a little bit off of the sweet spot, your putt doesn't go as planned? Well, let me show you a little trick here. You're gonna take your putter, you're gonna hold it with your non-dominant club and you'll just kind of rest it just like this, okay? And I'm gonna start tapping the toe of my putter and you see how much it's moving around here. The putter head is super unstable. Now, with the same amount of pressure that I'm applying, I'm gonna start moving towards the center, okay? And as I'm moving towards the center, you're gonna start to see that the putter starts stabilizing and stops shaking. You kind of see how that's working there? So here it is at the toe. And then as I'm starting to move towards the center, I start to notice that my club stabilizes. Now, if I go to the other side here, you see it starts to shake again. That is why it's so important for you to strike the sweet spot. Because if you're a little bit off, and we're literally talking like millimeters off to the left or the right of your sweet spot there, your putter head will get unstable and you're gonna end up rolling a putt that you didn't want. You're going to end up miss hitting the putt. So I'd love for you guys to try this at home where you'll just tap away at your putter here. And as soon as the putter starts to stabilize, that's how you know that you found the sweet spot, okay? And I want you to be practicing that over and over again.